Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so this is pretty much Louisville's only dedicated gluten-free restaurant. In addition to that, you guys also, um, I don't even know the word to say it, you, you cater to other allergies as well, right, Angela? So we're 100% peanut tree nut free, and we also can cater to pretty much any allergy that people have. So soy allergies, egg allergies, things like that. Like we can, we're really careful with all of our products. Everything is made from the ground up so that we can ensure that we know exactly what allergy and what exists in all of our food. This is huge because this food right here, it looks just like normal food, like you haven't taken any oh, extra yeah. precautions, and that's what people no. love about it, right? <laughs> exactly. It's a safe space for them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So a lot of people are under the misconception that gluten-free is gross, but mm -hmm. gluten doesn't actually have a flavor. It's a structure. And so if you can figure out how to create that structure without the gluten, then you can't actually tell the difference in the products. What we have up here is our chocolate cake. The chocolate cake is by far one of our best-selling desserts. This is our regular one. We have a dairy-free option as well. It's naturally soy-free. Um, all of our cakes do contain eggs. Um, this is going to be our Andy's mint cake mm. that we have. This one does have soy and dairy in it. It's the only cake that we have right now with soy in it. We try to have about four or five different cake options a day. That's amazing. And we also have some other bakery goods as well. We have this is our banana bread today. It is dairy free and soy free as well. This is one of our house hoagies that we make our sandwiches on. And we're going to work on a like a fried chicken waffle sandwich back here. While you do that, I want to I want to talk to you a little bit about what made you, what problems have you been faced with, what struggles that made you post this GoFundMe and ask for help. So while business is good and we constantly have lines, if you come here to eat, you're going to find that you end up waiting behind some people to order, and maybe you're going to wait for your food. So the problem is not business. The problem is the fact that we have just gone through two years of a pandemic. And with two years of a pandemic, with food costs rising, with labor costs rising, with problems finding employees and everything else, we just can't keep up at this point. January hit us really hard mm -hmm. um, with a lot of staff members getting COVID. We had pipes that froze and burst above our restaurant and flooded us out and knocked us out for a few days. And margins were already slim just getting through a pandemic. Right. And now with the food costs going up and everything else, we just can't, we can't seem to recover. And I'm really hoping that what this money will do, I've came up with a new menu that is more cost efficient, more labor efficient. And I'm hoping that this is basically going to give us a new start so that we can have this new menu and then we can be here for years to come. Reading comments on the GoFundMe page for people who have donated. Some of them haven't even been here, but just the fact that it's a dedicated gluten-free restaurant means a lot to them and they want to keep the Celiac Cafe around, guys. Man, the list that she was just mm. rattling off about the hits that kept on coming yeah. over the last few years. I'm, I'm glad to see that they're getting a lot of support. That's yeah. really uplifting. That's the story for so many businesses.